You welcome to the BNFT Digest. I'm Lily Pearl Baba O2. In his proposal that Ghana should consider liberalizing the cocoa sector, it is not clear whether the outgoing science and technology minister, Mahama Yariga, is fully apprised of the facts regarding liberalization or the lack thereof in La Côte d'Ivoire. The fact of the matter is that La Côte d'Ivoire has since 2012 begun to hasten slowly on liberalization where the states did not intervene in pricing with the full backing of the Bretton Woods folks who in the first place persuaded that country's government to stop setting prices. And the Association of Gold Exporters Ghana has asked that government reduces and consolidate taxes and levies in the industry. Chairman of the association, Kobina Asante Asari, has said that the new government should remove some of the many taxes, reduce others and consolidate what is left into one major levy to be deduced at source. And in our final story, the 2017 edition of the Oxford Business Group's Investment and Economic Report has said that although the country has as many as nine public and 60 private universities, only 730 students are studying for PhDs, as many Ghanaians prefer to go abroad for research and further studies. The relatively low number of PhD students has implications not only for research and development generally, but on faculty and universities themselves, especially as in some respects the universities, particularly the public ones, insist on PhD holders as lecturers. And it's a wrap on the BNFT Digest. Don't forget to grab a copy of the BNFT newspaper or visit our website, thebftonline.com, for more stories. My makeup is by Juben House of Beauty and costume by GTP. The BNFT Digest is sponsored by Belako Natural Mineral Water. Have a wonderful day.